a uh, little bit different uh, thing today um, got a chance to trade a steel weed eater that I got for a snow blower uh, it's only a little nine and a half horsepower snow blower and uh, let's see if I can wipe that thing off a little bit and uh, Yeah, for a little nine and a half horsepower storm force or something like that. Little uh, McCalla snowblower. It ain't a little one. Got a nine and a half horsepower engine, and I want to put a new engine in this golf cart. Or this, yeah, this golf cart for this one that we're painting. So we're gonna try to get this started. Got some Rotilla oil. It's a uh, 10W30. We need to put oil in this thing. You know, it's a two-stroke, so we got to put oil in it. Not really. I've actually mixed this already. This is a uh, a gallon jug, but I put a uh, made 40 to one mixture, and uh, uh, stills are 50 to one. So this is a little bit rich. We're not going to put a whole bunch in it. We're just going to put enough in it to see if we can't get this thing to fire up. Now that uh, McCullough um, snowblower, we might we might try to get it running and see see if we can't maybe sell it, make a little money, more money off of it, and then buy a bigger motor. I'm not sure yet. Um, I can buy a cheap motor. I don't want to buy no Predator, man. It's just they're 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 kind of expensive for me. I don't I don't have the funds, but so. We put the gas in there. We're going to hit this little primer ball. See if she'll pump up. Yep, she's pumping up. I'm trying to get too hard. So we got choke on. I ain't sure which way this thing's supposed to be to, to run. right up. so he can see it running now the McCullough he said he ain't worried about this thing running as long as there's a chance that it'll run he, he and it was a still uh, weed eater he would cherry for it and see this is a this is a commercial one you can tell by the straight shaft and how well the head is made it's and how beefy it is so this is a good good one for you know, somebody that lives out in the country or, you know, got a lot of property to weed eat. So this is something that he was looking for. And he's just like, called me, said, yeah. He, he said, let's, uh, let's do it. So uh, with it running, I feel better. I don't want to, you know, like try to cheat the guy out of anything. But anyways, he said that the McCullough don't, that something's wrong with the transaxle. It don't move very well. So... We're not really worried about the transaxle. We want just the motor. But if we turn around and get that transaxle to, to work, we may tear into it and make a video of trying to fix it and see what we can do. Then that's what we'll do. But all right, let's see if we can start her up without the choke on, without no fuel, nothing. <laughs> Perfect. So, looks like we'll probably have a good trade deal, and uh, hopefully this guy's, uh, you know, happy with what he gets, which I'm sure he will be. He says as long as it, 
long as it has a chance to run and he knows mechanics that will work on it for him but uh so i know it's just a little short video get out of the light so i just wanted to uh just wanted to do a little will it run video so uh it runs i'm gonna send the video and we'll see you guys uh here shortly and uh we're just gonna sand on the body of the golf cart get it in primer we're gonna set it set it aside once we get it in primer we're not gonna paint it quite yet because i want to do the lift kit we got to do wiring on the thing we got to uh repower it with whatever motor i'd like to have a 15 horse but weigh my options money that i don't have to buy one or use this nine it's 9.6 horsepower uh it's it's off of a snowblower so it only got gets used you know for a few days a year so we it's probably what we'll use um i believe it's got a one inch shaft it may have a three quarters but they make an adapter so we want to do that we need to pressure wash this thing we need it and i'm doing the lift kit so we need to install the lift kit uh we need to do the headlight wiring in it we need to uh we're gonna put a dash in there get us a radio in it get us some speakers in there we're gonna see we're gonna deck this one out just a little bit i i shouldn't because i'm not gonna make probably any much money off of it but with it being kind of decked out new motor should make a little money um so y'all just bear with with me i know this is probably going to be a drawn out little series build here but you know i don't really have much to go with i got we got this but i've got to do the lift kit on the golf cart first because i'm going to get it i'm going to go away with using this i will walk out here and i'll show you this uh show you the front end that i want to use for the golf cart so uh, there's videos on that you haven't seen it but uh, here's a little golf cart so I want to use the suspension here I'll have to buy a new one of these because this one has to stay once I get the new thing but it'll be independent front suspension on this riding lawnmower the golf cart type the build the electric build so bear with me we'll get the lift kit installed on that and then we'll be able to use the front end on this and then i gotta get this place all cleaned back up man i just had a few few golf carts that i had to work on and it's a total mess so we'll get that done and we'll see you guys around on the next uh one um it's just going to be doing the sanding and primary and on that and then we'll probably do the snow blower to see if we can get the um what you call it to move we'll see if we can fix the transaxle it could be just a key weights type deal maybe and then i could turn around and try to sell it and see what we got uh see if we can make enough money to buy a decent 15 horse so with all that we'll see you guys around on the next one